What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Panda, and I'm coming at you today with another little quick video. The topic for today that I want to discuss is Nika in a counterfeit situation. She went to, went down to the to the family dollar child, and she was trying to pass off some counterfeit 20s, okay, on some unsuspecting clerk. But he was hip to the game, and he took that money from her. But before we get into today's video, you know what you have to do. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe to my channel. So doing those things helps to push my videos through the YouTube algorithm and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when my channel drops a video. So let's get into today, to today's video. All right, let me share my screen. Hold on one second. Okay. I always wonder why she always hoards things like she acts like a person that's not like really used to having anything I just find it weird that she just always keeps deodorant and stuff like that in her specifically in her car and not inside the house like normal people usually keep it like in a bathroom or you know on a dresser or something like that and I just find it weird that she always goes into the Dollar Tree and goes into the family dollar every day and she never make sure that she buys each individual child their own hygiene products i'm just trying to figure out like why she only thinks about herself it seems so i made to tell about my bingo bag that i ordered too this is for like um food you can put in here now, first of all, I found it kind of weird to me that she sent Naya into the store with this f alleged fake money alone. First of all, her and Naya are, are like a pair. That's her wingman. That's her food buddy. That's her bingo buddy. That's her personal assistant. That's her bottom bitch. That's her, her security guard. That's her cameraman. And every time she goes into the store, Nika usually always going to the store and Naya's usually always trailing behind her with the phone or whatever device she uses and be filming her like she's some type of celebrity or whatever. So I just found it weird at this particular time that she allowed Naya to go into the store. I thought that that was that was a little weird. Maybe it was raining, but I, I doubt it. I, I doubt it. Even still, she she just it's sketchy. It's, it's really sketchy. It's giving sketchy. Look at her facial expression. You cannot tell me that that woman did not know that that money was fake. She knew it was fake from when she came in the parking lot. Because if y'all pay attention, when she was driving into the parking lot, she already had the fake money in her hand already. Nika don't usually sit up there and she drives all the time. She always take us on these little bogus trips with her when she be driving around in a car. She don't be having money in her hand like that. She knew that money was fake and she was itching to go and find some dummy, some dumb clerk that wasn't on top of their, their shit and she was going to try to pass it to him. I said, can you go to the store? He said, this don't feel fake. I said, I don't feel where I said, Mark, he said, he can tell it's fake. So I said, he gave us fake money. He said, it's fake money. He said, it don't even feel real. So you was right. He gave us fake money. See, I told him that. That's embarrassing. But my thing is this. If, if she felt in her spirit that that money was fake, why did you take it? Why would you risk your freedom knowing that you are a mother of 10? You you your children's sole provider. And so caregiver, primary caregiver, why would you put yourself in that position? This is nothing to play around with. This isn't even, this is above YouTube. This is government. Okay? You don't want to risk your freedom over uh, over a fake 20. It's not worth it. And, and you don't care about Naya either. You don't care about her at all either. Knowing everything that she's been through and you would send her in there like that? What type of mama is you? You don't see me in the store with fake money. I said that though. I said it's my own. I couldn't tell. I don't know real. But see, I told you. Didn't I tell you that for you went in the store. I said I told you for me a thousand. The money feel fake, and they gotta keep it because it's fake. That's embarrassing, y'all. 
And I said that though. I said that too. I said that. Why would he give you fake money? Oh no, that's embarrassing. And there's two dudes in there looking at me like I'm crazy. I said I know what fake money is. I ain't stupid. I said Let me that. See? I can't. I feel like she is stupid. And because if it felt fake, then you should you always have to trust your first mind and trust your gut. If you felt that that money was fake, like you say, then why why would you move forward and try to? You thought you hit a lick. You was souped up because you thought that you was about to hit a lick. That that was why. And he caught on to it. You lucky he ain't call the cops on your behind. I thought it was just like rubbing up or something. He marked it. No, he said he can't, but he know that it's fake and he put it in the air. The question is, why would it matter if he marked it? If it's fake, for one, you, you, you got bigger fish to fry because this man could call the cops and have you locked up and put in jail and you're concerned about the fact that it, that the money is marked? You got to be kidding me. You, and you're trying to convince me that this woman didn't know that this this was fake? And and bookies don't come over here talking about something. Oh, <laughs> why you always messing with her all the time? She's doing the best she can. Y'all always picking with her. There's no way for y'all to clean this up. How you gonna clean it up? Counterfeit is counterfeit. She knew. Oh, but they'll find a way to say that she didn't know. Leave her alone. Stop picking with her. You're mean. Okay, he got to get that money back to us though. No, he said he can't because it's fake. Did you did you hear this bullshit? She said, "Oh no, but he he got to he got to get his money back to us." Why would you want fake money back? If it's counterfeit, I would have got my behind in that car as soon as she would have came up and knocked on that window and told me the money was fake. I would have started that car up and I would have turned that car on its side. And you wouldn't have seen nothing but smoke blowing out the the, the back of the exhaust. I would have got out of that parking lot so fast. I wouldn't be Oh, is it, it is it marked? A.K.A. I want to sit up there and I want to pass this money off somewhere. And let me see if I could take it to, to another store and find me another dummy that I could pass this money to. That's what that is. He got the thing on the back, though. You want to go get it because he ain't giving it to me? You can't just keep the money. He said they got to. If it's fake, why would she want it? Y'all still convinced that she didn't know? Why would you want fake money back? You can't legally do anything with it. So why would you want it back? She had to know. You ain't gotta keep no money. That's not true. And another thing that baffles me is why does she feel like the rules never apply to her? The rules apply. Everybody else has to abide by certain rules and principles except for her. The rules don't apply to her. He ain't got to keep no money. That ain't true. Because it's you. Girl, you getting a little bit. Girl, you need to stop. He's supposed to get back to me so I can give it to him. Um, get, get that camera right. It is unlawful for a person if they have counterfeit money. First of all, he was supposed to detain you and call the police and tell and, and hold you there until the police got there. You lucky all he did was take that money away. You need to quit while you ahead. And I know she ain't about to get her. Oh, she about to get up behind out the car and go in the store and ask this money, this man for this money back. Hmm. I thought the same thing like he can't just keep the money. Oh. Who whoa 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 They're both going into the store? Did you see that? Where are the kids? Who's in the car with the children? Isn't it illegal to leave the kids in the car by themselves? Oh, okay. The strike queen going down to the YouTube police and striking people channels because he or she don't like the fact that people be telling the truth about her, but you left your kids in the car by themselves on camera and you passed the fake 20. Oh, okay. She walked in there all tough. Watch how this is about to change. So how you gotta keep that? Every time somebody come in with a fake, anything fake, you can't, you can't do that to the person. Well, it's my son's, and he gonna, I'm, I need to back. Whoa, 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 time up, back up, hold up. Did she just say that it was my son's? No, she didn't. She snitching. That's for one. Even if he did give that to her, you ain't supposed to go in there and tell them people that. Girl, is you crazy? You ain't supposed to go in there and tell them that. Now, the story I would have said was, all I know is I just came from the gas station. I went in there to get myself something to drink or buy me a pack of cigarettes, which I don't smoke. I went in there to get me a soda. But, um, 
and I gave them a hundred dollar bill and they gave me back the change. So they must have gave me the counterfeit money with the change. That's what I would have said. I wouldn't have put that on my son. Are you out of your mind? You don't protect your kids at all, but you always talking about you protecting your kids. I don't think so. I'm gonna have to just because he gave it to me, so I need to go home and get on him about the money he gave me to give her to come in the store. That's 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 illegal money. He's not supposed to be doing that because he sent us to the store. He said, Go in there and put money on the car. I was trying to tell her to put me the house, it felt like it was fake. Did y'all mark it? He said he don't got no marker. I still just don't understand why, if she felt in her spirit that the money was fake, why she still would take it upon herself to try to go in the store and try to pass this money anyway. You wanted to see if you could find somebody that you felt was, wasn't was paying attention and you thought you was going to be able to get away with it and you got caught out there. You got mad that the clerk figured out that the, the money was fake and decided to keep it because that's what he legally is supposed to do. So you wanted to go in there and get and retrieve the money so that you can take it somewhere else and try to pass it somewhere else. That's what it's looking like. If you, I would have believed, honestly, from a, re, from a reactive standpoint, as a YouTube content creator re reactor, I would have believed that you did not know if she when she would have came to you and told you that the money he said the money was counterfeit if you would have just pulled started your car and just and left and left it right there then i would have believed that you know what maybe she didn't know because sometimes things happen maybe you know somebody might have been stupid enough to take the money and you might have got it by mistake then i would have been convinced it was a mistake but because you did everything that you did that's what convinced me that that you 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 knew you knew ahead. You knew before before Naya came back and told you that. You knew before you sent her in there with the knowledge that that money was fake. You knew that already. You can tell it's fake though. Yeah, now you can tell. Yeah, yeah that's what I said. I'm in like having all the that's what I said too. When I left the house, I said, "Hold on, this don't feel right." That's why I said, "Let's just go by the store and see." That is crazy. He gonna make. You can tell she's lying because every time she says something, she looks at Naya for confirmation. You can just tell she's not even a good actress. No, that's embarrassing. For real, I ain't for a lot to you. <laughs> that's embarrassing, though. Oh, well, I'm going to I'm going to talk to cuss him out now. First of all, I don't really believe that she's going to go to no house and cuss him out. I feel like Papa, she's not going to say anything to Papa. I feel like Papa could get away with anything. Papa could do anything. And he knows that. He knows how far to go with her because he knows she's really, really doesn't have a backbone. And she's not really going to do anything. All of that, to me, I feel like is an act. Because she feels some type of way and she's trying to play it off about him keeping the money. So she had to redirect and, you know, put it on somebody else. I, I don't I don't know. I don't believe anything that she says. All right. Me too. And she definitely ain't going to cuss no papa out. You don't give your parents counterfeit money. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And see, I, what I say night before I left the house. You said that the money feels fake. You were just hoping that it would me personally if that were true which we all know it isn't if my son did before i even left the store i would have been already on the phone chewing him out chewing him out okay i wouldn't have been as calm as she is i would have been on the phone ripping him a new one right then and there on the on in the car with the phone attached to my telling him about himself so we 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 ain't beef for that bull. She full of shit. When we left the house, most of I can feel when something is wrong or something ain't, something ain't gonna be right. And most of the time, I don't really speak out loud. And I tell you, I got that I got that 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 scent like to where. What is she talking about? That scent what? She ain't got no scent, nothing. I think she was trying to say the spirit of discernment. But my thing is, if she had the spirit of discernment and you felt in your heart of hearts, if somebody passed that to me and it didn't look right or feel right to me, I'm not taking it in nobody's store. I, I am not taking it in nobody's store because I'm not risking no federal, no charges. I care about my freedom. I wouldn't have. So that's how I know that's bull. Sometimes God can send me things that I don't say anything. I'll be like, you know, I'll be quiet. And I'll be like, damn, like the lady who hit the jackpot. So I said, I said in my mind that the lady was going to hit the jackpot again. And she hit jackpot. And I, I was like, I looked at her. And I said, I'm like, look at her. Like, I said, because I said, had it in my mind, but I didn't say it to you. That the lady was going to hit jackpot again. And she did. So I like, I can feel he can say it's a prank. He can say whatever he want to say. With me personally, I'm a mom of 10. I'm not trying to be in jail for nobody money. Because you know what I'm saying? You can tell the difference between a real 20 and a fake 20. I didn't look at it. And though. see, this is my money right here. This is my money. All right, now I put the other one in the camera. This is mine. This is the money right here. Okay. Right here. This is how I know this counterfeit. This is real 20 right here. 
Now look at that. That money doesn't even look fake. Look at this two different. Look at the look, look at the different sizes. Look at the real 20 versus the counterfeit 20. Look how huge this looks. It, this doesn't even look official. They have prop money that you can buy on Amazon that looks more official and authentic than this. I don't know who did this, but they did a horrifying job. This this can't even pass as real. Okay, even a blind person can see that this they can feel because they, they feel because they can't see, but they can physically feel this money and tell that this ain't real money. Ain't nobody fooled by this. Come on. That's the fake one right there. Turn to the back though. And you can tell real money and fake money. Cause see, I work, you can tell that fake in your hand. I, I worked in too many. My thing is you're talking a good game now, but why? where was this energy and where was this discernment at before you walked in this per these people family dollar trying to pass this money off where was that at then gas stations and, and um stores retail stores and they got these markets they can market but counterfeit money is bad when people go out there and try to take people's stuff you buy people's stuff or you going to get something it's wrong if you take the money counterfeit money and go try to get something real with it no that's not right that's what but with your own parents but that's what she just did she just took fake money and sent, she didn't do it, but she sent her sidekick in there, unsuspecting sidekick in there to go and pass the money. That's what she just did. So y you're lying. You don't do that. No, you don't do that. I don't give a fuck. He said a prank or whatever. You don't do stuff like that. Nah, this ain't no prank city right here for me. I'm dead ass serious. You don't do stuff like that, bro. That's what I'm you want something out of the store, but you want to send counterfeit money with your mama? No, you don't do that. Okay, but the bottom line is this. My thing is, like, what are you going to do about it even if that it were true that Taekwon, that Taekwon gave that money to you, which we all know. I, I doubt that he did. Because, first of all, let's think about that. First of all, Taekwon don't have no job. So, my thing is, as a parent, if I know my child does not have a, a, a legal job on paper where they fill out an application and they work on somebody's job punching the clock, I want to know if you're giving me money to go do a favor for you. Where did you get this money from? Because if you don't have a job, I don't know where you got this from. But whatever it is, I don't want no parts of it. And I don't want it in my house. So she's wrong for that. Because she should have been. She should be as a parent asking questions. Not She should be proactive, not reactive. And right now she's being reactive. But we all know it's fake. Oh, I ain't know. Cut that light off that police right there. Truck over here on this end. Yeah, the truck had to come tow him off the road. That shit don't make no sense. That thing pissed me off. I just said it for all the thugs. I felt the money. Cause this shit feel like it ain't. Hey. Your nose ring coming out. Uh, I gotta come out and pick up my cheese of bread. I'm gonna blow it back up now. I used to always hate driving in the rain. I'm gonna go this way. See, that's what I would do it for right quick. I'm right here. This piece. Another thing too. I noticed that after that. She was going to get her usual. Do you y'all know what her usual is? She was going to buy pizza for the kids because she stated that she didn't feel like cooking. I don't understand why she keeps stuffing pizza down these kids' mouth. She keeps saying because it's their favorite. We have a night every Friday we eat out in our household. And every single solitary time we ask our children what they want to eat on Fridays, they always tell us something different. They never ask for the same thing ever. So that's making me believe that she's not really giving these children a choice. I don't feel like cooking tonight. I'm going to buy some pizza. And that's just that. You don't have a choice. They don't have a say. Because what if they said they want, they all wanted, all, all eight of them wanted Chick-fil-A. Or all 10 of them wanted Chick-fil-A because you got to count the adults because Naya doesn't have a job. And Papa doesn't have a job either. They rely on her for money right now because they, neither one of them are gainfully employed. Okay. But what if all of them decided they want Chick-fil-A today? Or all of them decided they wanted Chinese food? Or all of them decided they wanted Bojangles? Are you just going to go get them pizza? Is that the only pizza parlor that's in Sumter? Because I've never been in South Carolina before. And not Sumter either. But I'm sure there's other pizza parlors there besides Little Caesars. What I think, In conclusion, I'm going to tell you what I think the bottom line is. I feel like I, I don't know if Taekwondo had anything to do with it. I can't confirm it, but I can't deny it. She allegedly said that he has something to do with it, but I'm not sure. I think she was just saying that. Um, I feel like it's her. I feel like she's lying. 
and she she doesn't really care about them like that because my thing is if you're their mother why would you send your child on a dummy mission like that where she could have potentially got locked up luckily Sumter is a, a a pretty relaxed laid back town that's why she can get away with as much as she gets away with but you can't convince me that this woman cares about these kids. And furthermore, I feel like that she had that counterfeit money. And I feel like she was going to take and use that counterfeit money to get that, that little Caesar's pizza that she just bought for those kids without having to spend her money. But she got caught out there. So that's why she had to end up spending. That's why she was so desperate to get that money back from them. That's what I think. Well, thank you for listening. That will be all. I love you all and be blessed. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel because doing those things helps to push my videos through the YouTube algorithm and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever my videos, whenever a new video drops. Also, in closing, oops, I forgot that quick. Sorry, <laughs> but thank you for listening. Be blessed. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section because I love engaging with you guys. And I like to know what your thoughts is about today's video. Thank you for listening. I love you all. Be blessed. For real this time. <laughs> Have a good day.